What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, I literally thought that this game was going... I was going to have to stop playing this game because of the blowy thing. I had to speak in a microphone. Microphone, apparently, I didn't know how to work it. I figured out how, and we're trying to go through this. We uh, proved a few things last episode. We watched a fucking video. How was actually kind of cool in the game like this. Um, I wish it was all 3D cutscenes in this game. That'd be cool, but anyway. We're gonna call in Officer Jake Marshall to the stand, everyone. There's no stopping you. you it, there's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? Eh? What do you mean? You call for Jake Marshall. It seems you figured everything out. I haven't figured anything out. Nana, you're the one who knows everything. Emma. You always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Mr. Rice trying his hardest to protect you. I... I don't recall ever asking for his protection. How can you be so cold? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust... me? Oh, I ain't trying anything, pals! God damn it. Oh, guess I am. I'll go back later. Oh, what, 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 what is it? Got a lot of nerve, pal. Make a detective run around while on duty. Not top of call me here. I seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, detective. Better be, pal. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. I didn't see you there, Miss Sky. It's okay. So you brought what I asked? Oh, ho, oh, oh. What the fuck is that? My apologies, Detective. Due to my present circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name while making my request. My name? There are a million years where I thought it was you who asked me. Why bother bringing the SL9 incident files? I need them by noon. Talk about, talk about crazy. SL9 incident? Atlanta, that's... I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. Here. I do well to read them. I can't believe you, the chief prosecutor, were a witness in that case. The sky was a witness? I'm gonna leave that shit right now. Joe Dark, Sierra Mill, sentenced to death! Jesus shit! Edward Jones, Jason Knight, Edith Kirby, Rachel Moss, Jeb Bates, Neil Marshall. Emma Sky was a witness? Executive Investigators Damon Gant, Lana Sky, Head Investigator, Bruce Goodman, Jake Marshall, Angel Starr. Closed. Killed six people. Joe Dark. Lana and Emma were witnesses. Christ sake, why didn't I know about this? Take it from me. You don't want anything to do with zero murders. Oh, what? Now that I brought your stuff, you're going to ignore me? Emma? But why? Why is your name in here? What? My name's in there? No. Unless. No, it couldn't. Lana! This SL9 incident, is that. That's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as... The Joe Dark Killings. The, the Joe Dark... No. No, Lana! It's over with! No! Fuck you! Emma! Just run away. Uh, you know, I just remembered. Gotta go somewhere. Sorry, I'm out of here. Shit! Marshall and the star Damon Gant. Miles Edgeworth? I can mention my friend and Emma. Who well, involved in this case connected to those killings two years ago? This can't be just a fucking co- I need to turn the fucking lights on. There we go, everything's fucking better. Oh yeah, also, a few episodes ago you might have noticed the difference in background. Yes, I moved back to my original house for I don't know how long. This can't just be a coincidence. Knowing you, I just might be able to figure it out. Let me get back out to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. I better take a good look at this file. Harry did. Oh shit, you 
be continued. Okay, well, I already save stated. Let's continue on. February 24th. Guess I'm all alone. Court now reconvened for the trial of Miss Land Sky. Emma didn't come back. I'm going to call the next witness to stand. The officer in charge of John the Evans room on the day of the crime. <sighs> Can this guy stop drinking? Witness, please state your name occupation. Me, partner? Well, I'm just a man. Same as you. I'm learning the trades of civilization. Occasionally, occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Oh, I know. You're a patrolman. Who really likes to chug that shit? For my name. If you listen hard enough, you can hear the wind how the howling wind call it out. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, Yana. Howling wind I've never heard Edward describe that. Wait, was that fucking Edward describing him? Hang on, I can't. Now Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of gun the evidence room on the day of the crime took place. Is this correct? Come to the papers, partner. What do you mean? Our desperate souls is balanced in the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. Maybe supposed to get on the quickly. Please share with us your testimony the day of the crime. In English. Day of the crime. My child was to keep a wary eye on that bone orchard. The day I was supposed to make rounds through town today. I hate my style. So I take my suit, suit. Two security systems anyway. I remember right I was at the street side saloon the time went down. Just an innocent traveling man. So you got ammo? So we hit up the trail. I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. I can't say I... <gasps> oh my god, he fucking roasted him. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? And security cameras and ID card reader. I reckon even Catapult like you knows about those. Yeah, well, let the fingerprint activate locks inside the evidence room. Fingerprint activating locks? Kind of newfangled doohickeys are those. This might be very helpful. It's not that good with machines or following orders. It's got their weaknesses now, don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? So it seems like trouble. Okay, Mr. Wright, he's all yours. How exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made sure nothing moved on the security camera monitor. The room's so still, even time dies in there. This is the caretaker who in and tear the recordings. You and tear them? Videos of nothing that aren't useful. The time, when the time would come, I erase the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, tapes ought to be erased every six hours. Each time I erase the tape, I felt like I was erased to the power of my life. This guy has a flair for the dramatic. But is not going to do a man good? It's an actor out you don't physically enter the evidence room. But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? Ain't you heard a word I said, partner? I told you that ain't my style. I'm afraid I don't understand. No desperate, I know. Let's rules get in his way. No desperate, I don't join the police force. So, Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime, it's between you and me, and I set foot in the evidence room. One. There was a rubber glove stuck in the evidence lock, in the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner, can't say I do. I've been in the crypt in weeks. How's this guy boy being fired? If that was a part of his testimony, I would slam down the, the objection right now. Hmm. So you used the evidence from the past, right? Oh, of course, back in the day my lock was a gold mine evidence. And you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? Sorry, partner. I ain't good machines. I couldn't even tell you how a bike works. That's quite, uh, incredible. Sensors on the lock of handles cannot be seen. It's well known that some devices, the de detectors are unaware of their presence. Now that he mentions it, many countries have something like that too. At any rate, it doesn't seem that this is relevant to the crime. Can you tell us what you were doing when the crime took place? Oh, 
What were you doing in a place like that? How's he in spaghetti? I am an angel, so take lunches, keep me that part of this. Do you mean to tell us? You ban your police to eat some noodles. Not all that sprinos eat tacos, partner. That's not what I meant. Hope this has at least taught you a lesson. That's strange. This is unusually where Ezra says. Did you not want to raise this here? That's right, partner. Or as you call it, evidence. If you plan to pin me into this crime, you better draw. Otherwise, I'm just wasting my time. My steel horse wouldn't carry me back west of the sunset. Hmm. One thing seems clear. Despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room, witness doesn't appear to have seen anything. Texans don't take goals from everyone. Everyone knows that. Your superiors don't. Okay. I have a trump card up my sleeve. So I best keep it cool. Before I use it, though, I bear up the ante. I want to throw it up. There's an innocent traveling man. Objection, Objection motherfucker. Officer, Mar Officer Marshall. Doesn't it strike you as odd? That as you're being called to testify like this? Fuck. After all, you were in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. While I chug down this Jack Daniels. You really drinking Jack Daniels this time of night? It's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. <clears throat> Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crib. I pay my respects. That make my rounds about once a month. So natural my fingerprints will be there. I only wish it were, officer. But you see, the fingerprints were covered in blood. Witness! What's the meaning of this? Your bloodstained fingerprints were at the crime scene? The blood was wiped away, however. The my test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall? Seems to me. There ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. I'm taking you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall. About the bloodstained fingerprints. Very well. You may begin your testimony about your fingerprints. Found at the scene of the crime. Was I supposed to do that? I don't know how I was supposed to do that. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained handprint. The murderer touched the locker, but my fingerprint was by chance. Blood stain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Or oh, did she know that the murderer was wearing gloves? See, it had nothing to do with it. Hmm. The witness explanation appears valid, although there's room for doubt. Life will be fun without any doubt, partner. The defense may now. Okay, cross damage. This guy's hiding something. You can feel it. That's my chance to prove it. I still think. Now that I think of it, he does have long hair like Lana. This guy could have murdered someone. Hold it! That's because you pay your respects once a month. Yeah, that's right. And one more thing. The log happens to be mine. What? What do you mean? And what I said. That's the locker I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use. That's in it now, though, is a heap of broken dreams. I see. It was strange my prints weren't all over that lock. Apparently, his fingerprint data was never changed. He must have been using the fingerprint long without even knowing it. So then, what about this bloody handprint? Well, as a mine, it's no mystery. Please explain. My lockers cover my fingerprints. It just so happened. The chance that happened a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chance to that are none happening are a million to one. Get one thing straight, partner. You ain't gonna get no more little mere fingerprint. You wanna know why?
Who who allows a person to bring a knife to court? Christ's sake, I'm related. The difference is not in death. Kind of like cereal and cereal. He's got to do a breakfast when the other one's a type of murder. He's right. Though seemingly unlike, they're totally different. I don't see what, I don't see what this has to do with it. How do you know that? I may be a learner, but I still do my job. I keep up on the reports. There's a blood stain at the scene. Supposed to be left by the murderer. That's right. Sound like a gum gumshoe walker. However, no fingerprints were detected on that thumbprint. Oh yeah, I think we tried that too. Hmm, so that would mean the murderer in gloves happened to place his hand on the top of Marshall's fingerprint. Fuck me. That's your own logical conclusion. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? The picture? The seal of blood. In the desert, it's just like food for the buzzards. There's only one reality. And that's this. The security team? As long as my trail isn't there, I can't say otherwise. This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider carefully where we're going to this cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Now then, continue your testimony. What? What do you mean by that? One time in this crime. Is that right, partner? If so, that video is the only direct evidence you have. That video is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Blind spots. Places you can't see. The camera is panning back and forth. The floor isn't shown. Someone's familiar with the camera's position you could leave the room without being caught on tape. We don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. Well, Mr. Wright, you can show us evidence in the video that indicates Officer Marshall was present. Do so now. I can actually check with this. Shit. No evidence in video. Fuck, I don't know if I have evidence. I won't get penalized, but I'm actually kind of scared. Is there any evidence in the video? Alright. Okay, allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright. We might wind up being the one making the mistake. 
Now then, let's have another look at the video. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck me. I knew this was gonna happen. I think I screwed myself, guys. I don't think there's really any evidence. I'm gonna take a look at this for a minute. What the fuck is that? Hold up, was that there before? Please tell me you guys see this too. Okay, it's not there before. What the? Is this it? Your attention back to the security camera. It's a mistake, I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshall. Days are shut in Texas, and so are Tempest. Can you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less? Cloth. Whatever the fuck that thing is. Very well. And clearly, you can clearly be seen in this video. Exactly eight words. Not bad, partner. The key lies in a certain locker shown in the video. See this locker that has the white claw sticking out. This is the witness's locker. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit. Yeah, I noticed it too. Jesus Christ. Oh, the white claw. It's gone. What's the meaning of this, Officer Marshall? When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. And it suddenly appeared. No want explanation. Officer Marshall, you're in the evidence room. It's time to cry. What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. Order! It would seem that... Hold your horses. Sorry, partner. Just got the wrong man. So my locker was open. That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. Murderer needs to hide someplace so he can open the locker and stuck it in. It's not my fault we happen to choose mine. 
So everyone's staring at me like I'm a wanted man. This guy isn't just plain dumb. He really doesn't know. Take the rain on your parade. If you're the only person who can open that particular lock. Oh yeah? I call your bluff. You say I open that lock. Now prove it. Take that. Uh, a fingerprint sensor. He's sweating. He's sweating. We talked about this earlier today. Locks can be only can be opened by the detectives they belong to. What kind of crazy talk is this? Well, Detective Gumshoe did mention something about this. <laughs> so, Sheriff, we have to say. In eight words or less. Is he biting on something? Only got one word for your partner. No! What the fuck? <laughs> I only got one word. No! What? Witness, explain yourself. This is a joke. It's the worst I've ever heard. I assure you this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now please tell us what you're doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. Ole! Ole! Please answer the question. What is he? A bullfighter? That's alright, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure the rest out from here. We can? Have a look at these four plans. There's no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Yet, Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. If that's so, then, who is the witness? It seems Mr. Wright has an answer. That's right. The only possible conclusion. Oh, shit. Let's hear it. Where was Officer Marshall at the time of the crime? Or was he? Fuck, I don't know! No, I want to say he's at his locker, but that's too easy. This actually might be the part where I die, guys. I'm gonna die and I'm gonna restart. It's not so, that's not bad. I, I mean, I did make it through here, uh... Without losing anything, not yet, but at least, um... I don't know what else. I don't know what else. Fuck me, son. Where was Officer Marshall at the time of the crime? Okay. Let's review. Let's review. Okay. The camera, let's say, is... Right here, I guess. Possibly right here. It scrolls to here, then here. Here, and then here. The victim, which is Goodman, he walks over here, goes up here, opens locker. The killer, which is uh, Officer Meekins, he sneaks up on him, asks for his goddamn ID, Victim pulls knife on killer. He he slashes his arm. He, killer tries to to disarm Goodman. Goodman throws him against the wall. Stabs him. Panel. Meekins is lined up against a wall. Now, at all this time, right here was where his locker was. Jake's. J J Marshall's. Marshall's locker. I forget his first name. Is it Jake? Marshall's locker is right here, guys. So during this, at the last scene, when when everything just is just completely calms down, we can see a piece of white cloth here. Fusion. I'm not necessarily sure where he would be, but I want to say that he is at his locker, but that kind of seems a bit too obvious. Be a bit confusing for me, I suppose. 
I'm not sure where he would be. <sighs> okay, I got this. What I need to do is to think. I'm wrong, aren't I? Standing right here. As long as it's credible, it's making rap theory. Now they're ganging up on me? Perhaps. You should think a little more about where Officer Marshall was. Officer Meekin should have seen him in the evidence room. Oh shit, he wasn't in camera. That means the only place he could have been would be... Oh my god. I'm more likely wrong for this. No, I need to think a bit more. Okay. Is it? Can we jump the gun by saying that Officer Marshall was the victim? back. Sorry about that. I had to go pick up my brother. And I only got a short amount of time because my friends come over. Officer Marshall was standing right here. There. But that's... That's where the victim Detective Bruce Goodman was. Correct. Unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman as we proved in the other videos. I mean, before. I believe the victim in this video is Officer Marshall. It was you. Dressed up like Detective Goodman. That's preposterous. Also, Meekin has witnessed the detective at the crime scene. Once it's all in man's face, he know for sure. May I point out, though, that Officer Meekins did not know Detective Goodman was testified about the man's reaction when confronted. Something about the officer's story puzzled me. The man has ID card, why didn't he just show it? Yes, he would have needed it to enter the evidence room, so he must have been carrying it. The answer is simple. He couldn't show it. You can see Detective Goodman's pictures on his ID card. Oh, I get it. If he showed that, his car would have been blown. So we can sort of realize the man wasn't Detective Goodman. Anything to say this, Officer Marshall? You got quite an imagination, partner. You got a term for that. It's called circumstantial evidence. What? Still denying it. You're gonna have to do better than that to break a detective. Unless you have hard evidence proving I dressed up as the victim. Hmm. I can't say I particularly care for your uncooperative disposition. I can't say I care for your beard, but... Well, Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence? Any evidence beyond a shadow of a doubt that Officer Marshall dressed up as the victim? Oh. I cannot have anything like it. I can see the fear in your eyes, partner. Seems you're the one who couldn't take the desert, desert heat. <sighs> this can't be happening. So obvious he's the one, what can I do? Hmm. Looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed. I'll pass on to you what someone told me when I was just starting out. When you run to a wall with no place to go, return to the basics. The basics? For me, that would be what me and you used to tell me. I think outside the box. I shouldn't look for proof that Officer Marshall was in disguise. Rather, I should look for evidence that came about because he was in disguise. Why do you think this locker was open in the first place? What do you mean? There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open his locker at the time of the crime. But he did despite the chance it might be discovered later as I've been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. According to the fence's argument, Jake Marshall dressed up as Detective Goodman after crime. And after the crime was committed, he opened his own locker for some unknown reason. The fact that a white cloth is sticking out of a locker seems to indicate that. He opened it in order to put the cloth inside. 
So, this is why Zagger is this piece of cloth. Perhaps. Here's the, here's the key to all of our unanswered questions. I don't have any evidence, so here's my own shot. Very well, let's take you have another look at the security tape. Oh, to command the crime, the witness opened the locker, put away the white cloth. Why the witness had to open his locker? I think I know already. Exactly. For some reason, you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman. After the evidence room? I don't know why. Yet. However, something I expected happened. Officer Meekins barged in on you. You didn't ask your ID. You pulled a knife on him. However, Officer Meekins panicked. And the white coat you were wearing was so so soiled with blood. A bloody white coat! You couldn't just walk out like that. So you had the coat in your locker. Not bad, huh, partner? I think I got him now. Now then, Officer Marshall, are you ready to tell us the truth? It looks like I underestimated y'all. Hope you're happy now, Mr. Edgeworth. Two years ago, you were really as half persistent then as you are today. We all wouldn't have to be here now, would we? Officer Marshall, Tell the court what you did. All of it. Alright. It seems the time has come. Marshall's confession. 